Hi and welcome back to MRTV. What you're seeing here right now is Asgard's Wrath through the lens of the HP Reverb G2. Yes, it looks just so fantastic. And you've never seen it better in any other headset. Now, if you're coming from the CV1 or the Rift S and thinking about upgrading to the Reverb G2, you might be wondering how to play all these Oculus games and how well do they work on the G2. Now you found your perfect video because I'm going to exactly show you how that works and how well the games are playing. Also, I'm going to show you through the lens footage of Lone Echo, of Asgard's Wrath, of Stormland and of Robo Recall. So as you can tell, it's absolutely worth it to watch the whole video to the very end. So stay tuned now because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you unbiased and honest reviews of all the VR headsets and you're getting tutorials just like this one. So if you want more content just like this, absolutely subscribe and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. All right, Oculus Games on the HP Reverb G2, no problem. And what you're looking at is still through the lens footage of the HP Reverb G2 with Asgard's Wrath. Absolutely breathtaking and so much fun. But let me show you how it works. And everything you need is a software called Revive. And installing this onto your system is super easy. Let me show you how. First of all, go to the Revive website and the link is down in the description of this video. Now, all the instructions are on the side as well, here. And you do not need to do the first step if you already have the Oculus software installed and because you want to upgrade from the CV1 or the Rift S, I believe that you already have the Oculus software installed. So now simply download the Revive installer just like this. It's a very small file, so this should be really fast. And then simply execute the file that you've just downloaded just like this. Agree to the terms and conditions, choose the path, and then you're ready to install Revive. And as you can tell, this is really fast and it's finished already. Now directly I can see all my Rift games. Yes, it is so easy. It's really no problem at all. And that's truly everything you needed to do. Now in your HP Reverb G2, start SteamVR. And in the SteamVR overlay, there's a new button here. It's the Revive button. Don't click here. Click on the Revive button here. And then you will see all of your Rift games. And it's really so simple. Now. I simply click on Robo Recall, for example, and we're going into Robo Recall on the G2. So in this video, I'm also going to test a bit for you how well does it work, and we're starting here with Robo Recall, one of my all-time favorite games in virtual reality. And I can tell you, it works like a charm. It's buttery smooth, even though I know you will complain of me not recording this in 60 frames per second, but I can tell you it looks really smooth in the headset. Also, I have absolutely no problems with the tracking whatsoever. And as you can tell, I'm using Windows Mixed Reality controllers here. Anyways, this also works with the Valve Index controllers and I've showed that to you in the previous video. So with the G2, I can finally confidently say what you see here now on the screen, it does look like this in the headset itself as well. It's just so amazing. But let me simply show you in through the lens footage. Yes, this is through the lens footage of the HP Reverb G2 with Robo Recall. And I tell you, you have never seen Robo Recall like this. The game looks stunning in the G2 and you're going to have so much fun looking at these high quality textures in the G2. So for all the games that I'm showing you here in this video, like Lone Echo, Asgard's Wrath or Stormland, you might want to revisit them just to see all these high quality textures as they were probably meant to be seen. Just check out those details here and check out the colors. This is still an LCD panel, but it does look like an OLED panel. It's just so nice. Also, have a look at those texts here. Check out these texts here. Wow, fantastic. And of course, gloves. Gloves in the G2. That's a whole topic for itself. Anyways, let's start with the next game. And now we're looking at 
Asgard's Wrath. I know a fan favorite and I can tell you it runs so nice in the G2. It's just super smooth and you don't have to worry about not being able to play Asgard's Wrath in the G2. Now I'm running all of this on an RDX 2070 Super, so this is not the strongest of cards, but you will be able to push the full amount of pixels and it simply looks stunning. You've seen it through the lens video of this game in the beginning of this video, and I'm also going to show you a bit more of this in a moment. I think you should revisit the game in the G2 simply because you have lots of high quality textures in this game and yeah, you will love it. But let's have a look through the lens here again. And I've shown you this kind of footage in the very beginning of this video, but we're going to look a bit more at this kind of footage. Now look at the black values, the dark colors, they look really nice. And I can tell you that my pre-production model seems to have been updated, the firmware was updated, and now it's not so overly bright anymore. And I think now you can tell, okay, the black values are really nice, and you still have these nice popping colors, as you can tell here with the green. So yeah, you will be not disappointed by the colors of the Reverb G2. We still have to look at Stormland and Lone Echo. So let's start with Stormland here. And Stormland is one of my favorite games of all times. I simply love this game. And if you have not played it yet, please do play it. And also for Stormland, it worked really well in the G2. But I must tell you, for this game, I did have to lower my settings to make it run as smooth as possible. So that's something really important. If you don't have like a really strong GPU, if you have a GPU and it works really well on your Rift S, this doesn't mean that it will work really well on the G2. There's many more pixels that have to be pushed here to the G2. So if you don't have a graphics card that is at least as good as the GDX 1080, you might run into problems when trying to play Oculus games. So in these cases, I would say simply stick with your Rift S or stick with your CV1 until you upgrade your graphics card. All right, there's one thing I wanted to show you here and that's climbing with the Windows Mixed Reality controllers. Some of you were concerned that this would not work, but I can tell you, you don't have to worry. It works just fine and you won't have any problems with climbing with the G2. Before we get to Lone Echo, let's have a look here through the lens and let's check out how Stormland looks in the Reverb G2. And here we go, Stormland through the lens of the G2. And it's a bit shaky, but that's not the G2's problem, that's the problem of my hands. So no worries, it's not going to be shaking when you play Stormland in the G2. And yes, it looks great, just as you have expected it to look like, and you will enjoy it so much. And again, if you have not yet played Stormland, please play it. This is the robot's hand, and now it's time for Lone Echo on the G2. And here we go, Lone Echo on the G2. And I can tell you, it works just perfectly. You won't have any problems. It's buttery smooth. It looks as good as never before and you're simply going to have a blast. Again, this is one of the must-play games. So, just to let you know, even if you don't have a Rift CV1 or a Rift S, you can still buy this game and you can still play it on your G2 or on any other Steam VR headset. Now what was important for me to check out here is the tracking because well in this game you have to use your hands a lot for like getting through the space station and therefore it was important for me to make sure that the tracking works fine here. So simply check out my movements and how they translate into this virtual world. So no problem picking up that bulldog here and then even catching it in a moment you will see that now, so that works fine. And what I'm going to show you next is like how tracking works when the controller is out of the line of sight of your FOV. So thanks to the two extra cameras, this actually works well. And I'm showing you that now. So I'm spinning around here 
trying out that movement and yeah, I don't feel any kind of problem with the tracking and it works just as well as using the Oculus Touch controllers. So no worries, you're going to have a blast with this game and your experience will not be hampered by bad tracking. As you can tell, my room is pretty bright, actually a bit too bright already. So this would even be better if you would have a bit of a darker room to play. All right, and now I think it's time to check out Lone Echo Through the Lens. Lone Echo Through the Lens in 4K. And here we go, you've been waiting so long. And yes, this is through the lens footage of the HP Reverb G2. It simply looks amazing. This is the best way that you've ever played Lone Echo. So even if you have already played it, you probably want to go in again and experience it here in the G2. So all of this footage here, it can only give you an impression of how this looks. I'm telling you, it even looks better in the headset once you have this on both your eyes in complete nice 3D. It's just like so amazing. My big recommendation for you still the HP Reverb G2. Now, as you can tell, also for people who wonder, can you play your Oculus games on the G2? And yes, you can. Now, if you're in Europe and have missed the special pre-order prices, there's good news. Amazon Spain still has this for 599 euros and they're going to send it to you no matter where you are in Europe. And until 31st of December, this is also still true for our friends in the UK. And you will find the link to Amazon Spain down in the description of this video. Now I want to hear from you. Do you own the CV-1 or the Rift S and do you think about upgrading or do you want to wait it out until Oculus releases some kind of Rift 2? Please do let me know down in the comment section below. I really hope that this video was helpful for you and that it provided some value. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not yet subscribed to MRTV yet and you want to see more videos just like this, please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. That's it. And now I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.